Okay. What we can expect from next Jagex stream. Uh, let me do it in caps. What we can expect from next Jagex stream. So in my in my uh in my estimation I feel like there's only three outcomes that could happen after this stream. So, outcome one is Jagex announces Jagex announces the absolute bare minimum content that we were already expecting for months. What what is that? That is the necromancy uh Rex matriarch boss cuz it's like our, like that zone is already in the game. Like we are so we've been waiting for that since necromancy release. Which, you know, hopefully is going to have like a necromancy ring and all that stuff. So, necromancy rex matriarch what else could they announce that we've been expecting? The, uh, um, it's on the tip of my head. I freaking don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, the combat beta. <laughs> Combat beta changes going live. Yes, absolutely. If they announce the combat beta changes going live, that'd be like, bro, we know that. That's not. We don't need to stream for that. Um. Okay. What else do we know is coming? That's in the pipeline. I feel like I. It's it's freaking, on the tip of my freaking tongue. Do okay. Do we do we think like let's be totally realistic here. Because they did kind of do this with every other skill that, especially 120 that came out. Do we think there's going to be a necromancy part two? Because there was a part two for archaeology with the Rex, with like the Anachronia stuff, the the Sentistin stuff. There was a part two for dungeoneering with like the warped floors. There was a part two for invention with all the new freaking like machines and all that stuff. <laughs> Treasure Hunter Roadmap. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! No, 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 no! That that's not in this section. That that is gonna be in another section, though, Maria. Okay, ne I'm, I'll put Necromancy Part Two because, like, let's be honest, I feel like there probably should be a Part Two because there there was a Part Two for every single 120 skill that came out since like release, basically. Oh, oh, sorry. One more thing. Um. Additional 120 skills because um, if you guys didn't know, they released a survey. They released a winter survey, and in the survey, one of the questions they asked was, "What were the f what were the five skills that you wanted to raise to 120?" So I think that is something that they are actually bringing back to the table for some reason. I guess because they ran out of ideas or something. Okay, so I think these are the four things that we already are kind of aware of. So if this is what they announce, we'll, we'll, we'll have, like, like no reaction. It's just like, okay, we already knew that. Like, I guess it's good that they're f announcing it, but, like, that's nothing new. Okay. Scenario two. Scenario two is 
Jagex announces another off awfully timed cash grab such as okay uh, awfully timed crash crap <laughs> cash grab treasure hunter r r road map uh bro fresh star worlds too <laughs> As much as I love Fresh Start Worlds, if they announced this now, that would be the worst time to do it. Well, I hope y'all are ready for a Jagex announcement for Fresh Start Worlds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, more necromancy cosmetics. <laughs> okay, true. More... Cosmetics locked behind MTX. <laughs> okay. And, and what's scenario three? Scenario three is absolute copium, okay? Jagex announces good unprecedented changes now it has to be unprecedented because it has to be stuff that we haven't thought about like can't be something we already thought about copium so stuff like this is like player avatar rework reinstated something like uh pvp revamp or something like, uh, new raids. I don't know. Because I'll, I'll be honest, if they announce another freaking solo boss, I'm a freaking murder mod ramen. Like, I'll frick solo bosses at this point. There's like, every boss is a solo boss. Scenario 3 requires them to have some sort of divine intervention <laughs> to get toes out of their mouths. No, you I, I, you're absolutely right. I totally agree with that. I I I am coping that there could be something like that, but but the fact here here's the fact of the matter. The fact that they that they have to be so freaking mismanaged or so like like their their PR team is just they they took a one month vacation or you know you know what I mean like their freaking PR team for Christmas they just left or they all quit or something so they had no PR team they their PR must be paying. so bad to <laughs> if they had a big rework like this plan like the things that I put down here in slot three if they had any of these th things planned out they would have had like stuff prepared for it like they, like you know what i mean like they would have had like a like a presentation prepared for it already not like now because <laughs> this is a huge deal i think right i would think it's a huge deal at least i would hope it's a huge like they deal. like if there was something this big in the woodworks i think they would want to announce it at the beginning of the year not in february so I'm already like at the point where it's very low possibility that it's one of the it's one of the third changes <laughs> because they would have already announced it. So um, unfortunately, it's uh oh, it's looking very very likely it's one of the first two. <laughs> like best case, like not not best case, but like. Best case scenario from what we know, it's like the it's like what's a number one? They announce the bare minimum. Worst case scenario, they freaking do the the cash grab and then all hell breaks loose. All right, that's uh, that's what I think Jagex is gonna do for the stream, and I I will I will try to stream it live when it comes out. I think on Friday, so can catch that on twitch.tv slash actually fishy if i post this on youtube <laughs>